Do you want to tell the people what we're doing today? Good morning, everyone. Today, we're doing this. We are removing our 50-year-old fiberglass water tanks. I'm so glad. They're glassed into our hull, so we can't, like, do anything about it unless we cut them out. And then um, they leak, they're gross. The gel coat inside is cracking off, which means our water always kind of just tastes funky. We run it through filters as best we can, but mm -hmm. it's time for new tanks. And we need to inspect the hull underneath them because they're 50 years old. Um, yeah. So this one underneath the nook is already exposed. And then we need to rip the rest of the settee out. It's gonna be so cool. I'm excited to get rid of these. I'm excited. We've been drinking out of these for eight years and it's probably affected our health. <laughs> um, one of the reasons why I ripped the whole nook out was to replace these water tanks, but also to sort of reinforce this whole section of hull because the things we've cut out so far aren't structural members of the hull. Like the top of this piece of plywood we just cut out and the pilot berth we just cut out, I mean, they're held in by, you know, one layer of fiberglass only on one side. So they didn't really act as anything structural. Um, but while everything's out, we're gonna reinforce these knees by bringing them you know, all the way down and connecting them to the bilge on each side, re-glassing these bulkheads so that they're stronger, probably adding whatever we add back in horizontally, we're gonna glass in properly so it acts more as a structural member of the hull. And we're getting rid of these water tanks. I'm really excited about that. Also, this is probably why we keep getting uh, our bilge pump going off every time we heal over because our water tanks are probably leaking out of these vent hoses. It's like nothing really. Oh, yeah, they're not even attached. It's probably why they've been leaking. <laughs> That's why our bilge pump keeps going off when we overfill our water tanks. <laughs> that vent hose wasn't even attached, so it's completely like ripped off. So it makes sense why our bilge pump kept going off. Oh, yeah, I guess they're half full. Oh wow, yeah, very full. Our water tanks still have water in them. They're still pretty much full because we filled up before we came to the marina. So uh, we're just gonna cut a hole underneath and let them drain into the bilge and have the bilge pump do its job. Because then it'll be much easier and lighter to take it off the boat. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what the bilge is doing. I think last time that we purposely flooded our bilge was when we had that rat on board. And this is the second time. water tanks since we first got the boat they're just awful <laughs> in every way and they're actually starting to like kind of wear through you can see these spots where they've been chafing from the boat like banging around so it's good to like see underneath uh, it's one of the last places we've never been able to see on the boat so it's good to see underneath and see and inspect the glass and 
integrity of the hull and start to make a plan for how it's all going to go back together. Look at this, look at this, look at this. This is also one of the things that we're trying to fix with this project is all these bulkheads that we have that have just never been glassed in from the factory. Like look, they, they removed the laminate and exposed raw plywood in the factory, but then left this massive like two centimeter gap and then didn't glass it to anything. So when people keep commenting on how we're like removing structural bulkheads, they're not structural. They're not glassed to anything to begin with. So we, we cut out some stuff, but that's not, doesn't really matter. It's the section, you know, towards the hall that matters. But if they're not glassed in anyway, then they're not really doing their job. So we'll either be glassing these in in place or ripping them out and replacing them and just doing it all from scratch so that we know we have like a solid foundation of a boat, finally. One down, one more to go. What do you think? You think they're smaller than you thought they'd be? They're bigger? much smaller than I thought. I mean, I know they're triangles, but it's such a weird shape. I, yeah, it's crazy to see them outside of the hull. <laughs> well, drain the rest of the water out. <laughs> What's happening? I don't like that look. I think we're gonna go for it. I think we're going to rip it all out and start from scratch. New V-Birth. We're already taking out so much on the other side, so it doesn't make sense to kind of go halfway. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to rip it all out. Okay. You ready? Yeah, quick yeah. before we change our minds. Yeah, let's do it today, now, and we're good tomorrow. <laughs> kind of forgot we have to take the water tank out. <laughs> Slipped in my mind. I bet this whole liner can come out and then we can just fare the deck and just sand it and not have a liner at all. Wouldn't that be nice? And we'd know where our leaks are coming from. We'd be like, look, this nut is leaking. This bolt is leaking rather than like, there's moisture here. And then try to trace it <laughs> uphill to find out where it's coming from. Yeah, I bet we can pull the whole thing out. What do you think about the idea of removing the whole V-Birth? Oh, I like that idea. I was not looking forward to like sitting in these tiny little holes, sanding and grinding and re-glassing these bulkheads back in. Um, yeah, just removing the plywood top. Uh, love that idea. And since we were gonna like adjust the front of it anyway, it, you know, it just makes sense. I'm just trying to debate like how we should take this off because there's like a hundred flathead screws that are holding it in. I don't really want to take all of them out because they're all painted over. 
So we might go a little bit more destructive and just like jigsaw pieces of it out until it's all out. Just, we're not trying to save any of this plywood. Wouldn't be able to reuse it anyway. They should come out pretty easy. I mean, I'm all for one for like having loose tolerances and then filling it in with glass later, but like, come on. That's like five or six centimeters between this bulkhead and the hull. And then there's just this tiny little of glass in there. It's like two layers of glass. It's ridiculous. I mean, maybe a centimeter, but like six? Uh, I'm glad we're ripping this all out. Makes me feel really good. this fiberglass was a, a repair job that we didn't do somebody before us did it but we could tell that like obviously it didn't do a very good job because it's like they didn't mix the right resin or something but then we took the top off that's the only thing that was holding it up <laughs> this is supposed to be a uh, part of the structural support for our bow so it hasn't been doing anything for a very long time it's insane Pearson Invictas maybe, or older older Pearsons. Um, there are some good ones out there. Uh, this wasn't one of them. I think by the time they started making these ones, they just were slapping production boats together. Um, and they're not like the, this thick hull, you know. Our hull's like that thick, half a centimeter, maybe. And uh, you can feel it flex, like while we're sailing behind us. So one of the things that we're gonna be doing is systematically going through and reglassing this shit <laughs> but also basically every maybe half a meter adding um, basically a rib uh, along the whole boat either either via a, like a bulkhead like this that we extend up to the deck or you know a half bulkhead or just like you know 10 15 centimeter um, like an actual rib down the side of the hull so and then some laterals and some horizontals and stuff as well so hopefully um, she'll be much more like stiff and rigid and durable by the time we're done rebuilding the entire boat. officially out. We destroyed the nook <laughs> and the setsy, removed the water tanks, we removed everything from the V-Birth because that was a great uh, idea. <laughs> it was a great I, I actually, I knew that there was some structural damage in the V-Birth. Um, I knew that there was some like non-glassed bulkheads here and there and I had no idea exactly to what extent. Like it's, uh, it's more than I was expecting. Yeah. That's for sure. It's like that little part that bulkhead in the beaver is like flapping back and forth. I know, it was crazy. I was not expecting that at but all. I don't know, but it, it, it makes me even happier that we removed everything because yeah, now yeah. we know exactly how structurally she is and it'll be easier to reglass everything. Yeah, we so. we are still going to be removing the entire cabin sole. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a liner and so it's not actually glass to the hull. So 
Um, that's been like the bane of our existence ever since we cut it out at the very beginning. And um, we're not quite ready to take it out yet. We, we kind of enjoy having a flat place <laughs> to walk while, while we yeah. still sort of contemplate and figure things out. But yeah, uh, the, the rough demo is done. Um, at least as much as we thought we were going to do. Yeah. And the more we rip out, the more we want to rip out and just redo everything. How is your anxiety when it comes to ripping things out of this <laughs> boat this time around? Because I feel like uh, the first time we didn't have the skills, we didn't have the knowledge. We didn't know anything. No. And so we were like really timid um, with how we did these boat projects. And I think that's probably one of the problems is we were too timid. Yeah. And so we just sort of like just tried to just do a small little amount. Um, and then like put it back real quick and hindsight's 2020 if we were so we didn't know any better we didn't have a, as big of a budget we didn't have the skills or the knowledge or anything back at the beginning so like I'm, I'm happy with what we did we did the best we could but people always ask if we could do it again what would we do differently um, and we everything would, we, everything <laughs> we would but the main one is like rip everything out to the point where we can see and inspect everything mm -hmm. and so that's what we're doing. Yeah, I think the difference this time around is now that we've been doing boat projects for 10 years, um, nine years, it's almost as long as I've been renovating houses. And so the, my, yeah, my anxiety level this time around is like non-existent. Like there's nothing in this boat that we can rip out that I don't know how to put back in or how to rewire or reinstall or what to do or how to do it. So it's, all, it's a lot more fun <laughs> and a lot less stressful <laughs> Just be like, ah, just tear it all out. We can glue it back in. It's just fiberglass and plywood. There's just a lot less stress this time around because we, yeah, we just have a much better idea of, of what to do and how to do it. If you are interested in following this project in a more detailed format, we have live chats with our patrons uh, once a month and we send daily pictures on our Discord channel talking about these projects and, you know, seeing daily how... Daily updates. Yeah, daily updates. So if you're interested, definitely check out our Patreon page. It's going to be an awesome couple of months. It's going to be where it's at. So, yeah. Until then, we'll see you guys next week. Cheers. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> okay.